that this is a, a, an adaptive program that will find a way to get you on the water so you can have an opportunity for vigorous physical exercise and improve yourself and be out in nature and with other people who are also physically challenged. Regardless of your body type um, or your um, ability or lack of ability, this will promote great cardio, great um, <clears throat> emotional strength also. So if you're feeling some depression, the amount of endorphins that are released from this sport are amazing. And actually, I just love being on the water. Um, and I just like the, the rush, and it's even more exciting to actually get to be the one rowing yourself. And I think there's nothing like getting through to the end, the last 100 meters, and actually getting that satisfaction. You know, I don't want to get up early in the morning and train, but then you get that endorphin rush, and then you're, you know, I, I train a lot in the mornings before I head into work, um, so that's such a good feeling to see everyone coming into work half asleep at 9 a.m., and I'm, I'm wide awake and ready to go, and it actually really helps me in the rest of my, my day, too. And when I first started coaching with the program last year, I remember that was one of the big things that I was the first day I was most nervous about. I'm like, how do I coach these people based on how I row versus how they row? And once I, you know, one day with the athletes, you get to know them really well. And it was that same thing. I'm like, they go through the exact same thing that I would on the erg, where it's that that difference between, okay, can I, can my muscles do this or is my mind telling me that I can't do this right now? And nine times out of ten, it is. it's just your mind saying, this hurts, I don't want to do it anymore. But it's as a coach, it's your job to say, you can do this, you're going to do this, and push them past that point. So I would say every athlete, you know, their disabilities differ slightly, but it's all the same with us. We're trying to get them to push themselves towards their goal. The only difference is you have to take it an individual case at a time. Um, I mean, you'll see that we were fixing some of the seats in there, so that's the difference. Uh, we do the same workouts that I do with anybody else that I, that I coach. Um, and I think they like that because they know that my expectations are the same. Our program wouldn't exist without the generous support of two organizations here in D.C. Um, the Disabled American Veterans Charitable Trust, which works with the VA hospital here in Washington. And then we have a lot of support through the Olympic Opportunity Fund, which is sponsored by the U.S. Olympic Committee. Through those two grants that we receive each year, we have a fee-free program for any uh, wounded military or veterans here in the area. And right now, in fact, I'd like to make a pitch. We've got room for four or five new veterans that we want to teach how to row. And if you join us, if you, if you get on our website and learn more about our program, we will teach you to row for free. We will take you to exciting regattas. This year we're going to be in Philadelphia. We'll be in Boston. We might be down in Atlanta. So we really need some more veteran participants right now. So we hope to bring more military people to our program.